Not looking all that great though. Oh, so, what's going on with your YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We call him back at y'all with another vid. So we got some breaking news we need to talk about, some discussion videos, all that jazz, all that good news, man. So hey, let's just jump right into it. First things first, we gotta talk about. So in 2025, in February, during All-Star Weekend. We're gonna get a banger that I cannot wait for. This is what we've been waiting for since they've been doing these 85 high Jordan 1. They only release once a year. They're retail for $200. I mean, we got some pretty decent colorways. The reverse breads uh, one year, and then also last year we had the pandas, or should I say the black and white. This year, I can't remember what we got. I think it was like a metallic or something. I don't think even the US got, I, don't, I can't remember even the release actually. But anyways, so, shouts to Z Sneakerhead, he's the one that broke the news, and Sneaker Files. Now, we'll be on Valentine's Day, February 14th, which I cannot wait. Sorry, honey, we gotta get the shoes. <laughs> just kidding, you know, but honey, just saying uh, to wifey, if she wants to hook it up, she wants to find me something for Valentine's Day, this might be it. Anyways, we will begin the 85 Bread OG High, which I cannot wait for. I mean... I have almost every bread, d different type of colorways that we have. We, I have even have the satins, you know, the the bands, the 2016 pair with that tumble tumble leather. My baby right here, my grill right here with the X on the back. This is the real band right here. Woo. And now the 85 highs, like this is gonna be some grills. And we are going to get the 85 OG treatment. It's gonna look closer to the 85 release. We're gonna get some true OG packaging. I mean, we see some pictures here with that OG look to it. I'm hoping it might look like a lost and found, but you know, hey. Uh, and also, it's gonna be reconstructed for the shape to the 85, which is kind of like, I thought this was what these were. Hang, it will also have the OG hang tag, the reconstructive shape to match to the 85 original and materials and also improve in comfortability. Cause that's the one problem I have with these 85 highs. Like, I kid you not, I wore these all day one time and my feet were screaming. That's why I'm kind of scared to rock these right now because I'm I'm afraid it's gonna hurt so bad. So I'm just, I kind of want to wait. Like I might rock these later on, but usually 85 highs, I, I, you know, they say the leather's really stiff and it takes a little bit to break in. But usually I always tell you guys, go about a half size up. I think you'll be fine. But man, this one I'm very, very excited for. This is the one I cannot wait, even though I know it's coming out in 2025. We still gotta get to the Black Toes later this year, the reimagined Black Toes. We still gotta get to those, which I think is gonna be pretty crazy. I think a lot of people are gonna like those. Those are looking really, chef's kiss, looking really nice. Maybe some Jordan 1s, like, you know, the Jordan 1 highs are kind of coming back a little bit. Just saying, you know. I. I I know some people don't really like the Jordan 1 highs. It might be a little too much or, you know, maybe they did it too much and they're just over it. And I get it. I definitely get it. But when it comes to OG colorways and of course Travis's and stuff like that and the collabs, gotta rock. You gotta get those, man. You gotta, I have to get the OG colorways definitely for sure. Especially in 85 high. This is definitely a must cop for me, for sure. I think this might potentially even be like sneaker of the year in 2025, to be honest. There's been some rumors out there, some speculation that we're gonna be getting another Air Jordan Varsity Red Air Jordan Lowe's releasing in the summer of 2024. We're in the summer now, school's out, we're getting into the month of June, and we're supposed to get exclusive Air Jordan 1 uh, Varsity Red. Some people had some mock-up pictures like, oh, it might be a Chicago colorway. I kind of think I already know what it is. I think this is what it is. I'm not exactly sure what people are kind of speculating, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Trophy Room Home Pair, all right? It's gonna have the Varsity Red. This is gonna be more of the, either way, the, the, the Home Pair is coming out very, very soon. I'm hearing it's, I'm not, I can't really say much, but I just hearing that it's gonna be very, very soon. We're in the month of June now, right? Or close to it. Yeah, so very, very soon. Now, unfortunately, guys, it's going to be, like I said, exclusivity, they're calling it, or a collab or whatever. It's gonna be very, very limited. I'm hearing it's gonna be a thousand pairs or a thousand stocks. Now, that's not gonna be a thousand stocks to the actual public. It's probably gonna be 
Um, it's probably only going to be Orlando only. I think even Marcus Jordan, when he even was on the was it complex and stuff, he was saying how this is going to be Orlando only, even though the away pair, it seemed like only the Orlando people hit. But with this home pair, this is probably going to be more like... It's going to be very, very tough, guys. This one's going to be super duper tough. And I think even people are going to like the home pair a little bit more. Or maybe you guys don't care. I get it. But it's going to be... Basically the same as this, except for it will have leather. All this will be leather. But the packaging is going to be a little bit different on the home pair. Um, you see why I got this card here? You see why I got that card? If you guys didn't see the video. Just saying, I shouldn't let... Uh, well, I'll just say this. It might be something special. Something special for the home pair. It's inspired by the rookie card, so just use your imagination. It's going to be something crazy, but again, unfortunately it's going to be limited to about a thousand pairs i'm pretty sure for the people that do hit we'll probably gonna have to have an orlando residency and get very very lucky you know how we saw the lines for the way pair if you guys didn't see it i actually flew down i got my w i flew down to orlando and yeah man I, i'm i was very fortunate to get a w on the way pair there's a couple people that did too but you know a lot of people uh some people i knew actually flew down but Man, the lines was crazy, crazy long. I think they gave about 5,000 pairs or 10,000 pairs in Orlando. So, with that being said, only going to be about 1,000 pairs. So, stupid, stupid limited. So, if you had trouble with the away pair, the home pair is probably going to be even worse. I mean, for me, I'll probably have to end up paying resale. Because, like, lately, I've been taking all L's on almost everything. J Balvin's, uh, Futuras, Travis's jacks all that i've been taking l's so i've been paying that resale price so i probably i do want the uh, the home pair too as well so i'll probably have to pay that resale price i don't know how much it'll be but it's just you know it just is what it is no big deal i don't know if it's that limited to a thousand pairs they might be the same price like something like the freeze out you saw how the freeze outs are going even though the freeze out right now they're kind of going down they were at one point like 2500 to like three four thousand dollars which is kind of crazy to me but you know I think the, if it's that limited, it's probably gonna be like a thousand dollar shoe, probably, most likely. I know it sucks, man, but this is what it is. I don't know, I, I really don't wanna pay a thousand dollars, to be honest, but uh, if I have to, I'll wait to see, maybe it'll go down later down the road or some of that. I, I probably don't need to get right right then and there, especially this economy and the way how things have been going. I really not trying to spend a thousand dollars on a pair of shoes. There were some posts on Twitter I saw. I'm not sure if this is gonna be true or not. You know how things are on Twitter and everything. Exclusive Air Jordan 1 Low Varsity Red drop in summer 2024. Retail at 140. It's gonna have a sale, Varsity Red, Black, and sale. It's a collab, not sure who is with yet. I have an idea. Right now they're calling the Lost and Founds. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna look like this. This is just a mock-up picture, speculated. You know, wishful thinking if they ever did. You know, if they can ever bless us with a Chicago colorway, you know, low, OG low, and they make the bigger swish, that will go crazy. People will go insane for those, but maybe it's not the trophy rooms. Maybe it's something else, you know? Maybe it's just a whole new colorway that we haven't heard or seen yet, which is kind of surprising because usually with the leaks and all that, it, we, we would have heard it by now, which is kind of surprising. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be the home trophy rooms. I'll be very surprised if it's not, but I'm very, very certain it's going to be the trophy room homes because these are set to release very, very soon. That's all I'll say. Anyways. All right, guys. Good luck. You know, you guys. Let me know. I'm I'm very sad for the bread, uh, the bread ones at least. These coming out February, 85 high, OG packaging, OG everything, reconstructed. You know, uh, shape and all that good stuff and materials. This is the one I cannot not wait for. Like this will probably be in 2025 sneak of the year for me at least. And of course, the home pair again. Yes, less about a thousand pairs. That doesn't mean a thousand pairs to the public. It's probably gonna be far less than that. But hey. Anyway, guys, just wanna say I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at JummerChrisNIG. Sometimes on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jeremy Chris. Push.